Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. Today is Wednesday, uh, December 30th. Tomorrow is Thursday, December 31st. And uh, Oklahoma, Clemson is one of the college football playoff semifinal games. We've gotten a lot of opinions on that game. And right now, we're going to get the opinion of very well-respected SBR contributing handicapper, Doug Upstone. Doug Upstone, thanks for being back with us. You know, I've heard uh, the sharp guys give opinions uh, supporting both Clemson and Oklahoma. I would say more of the opinions that I've heard uh, are supporting Oklahoma, though. What's your take on this game, Doug? Yeah, Peter, well, for uh, Sportsbook Review, what I, was, what I was asked to do is I had to write articles looking at both points of view. So I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to do is to uh, try and do it, make both points, and then I'll give a prediction on the final. How's that work for you? Okay, that sounds great, Doug. All right. So from the standpoint of, you know, Clemson offensively, they have a lot of things that they can do well to work against Oklahoma's defense. You know, Deshaun Foster, excuse me, Deshaun Watson is an exceptional quarterback, throws the ball extremely well, particularly in, in, in passing on slant patterns where he throws the ball 7 to 12 yards. And that's very difficult for to defend. Now, Oklahoma's defense has faced a lot of teams that were like that, excuse me, that had good passing attacks, but nothing really quite like Clemson's and especially the ability for him to be as accurate as just throwing the ball. Plus the fact that I like what Clemson does out of their power sets when they when they run their offense is that they have either an H back or a full back that they use as to lead as a lead blocker going into the hole. And so if that is the case and they can block if the offensive line can block up the defensive guys, I think they can have some holes and really make some nice runs getting into the secondary. Now I look at Oklahoma's offense and you know Baker Mayfield really had a very good year. 35 uh, touchdowns, only five interceptions. And Oklahoma does a great job throwing the ball deep. So I, I like, you know, from that standpoint, because they were, I believe, third in the nation in yards per pass attempt at 9.6. So that could be a little, little tougher for uh, Clemson unless they get the pass rush going. So I can see kind of like both points of view here. But ultimately, my personal opinion is I think this is going to come down to Clemson has a little extra something going for them. They are the underdog, okay? Uh, being a top seed, an underdog, I'm sure that's a really prime thing for motivation. And yes, their Oklahoma also has motivation from last year's defeat. But again, we're talking about the Russell Athletic Bowl from last year versus the national semifinal here. Completely different case. I just think when it all comes down to it, I think Clemson is going to win the game outright in advance because of their offensive, excuse me, their defensive line being able to control Oklahoma's running game. And I think they'll make enough big plays on offense to get the job done and win the game outright. Well, Doug Upson, you've, uh, you've certainly muddied the waters here for me. I've definitely, you're not the first person to uh, suggest that uh, Clemson is the side with value, but I would say that, uh, that more of the opinions I've heard from the people who I, res whom I respect uh, are, are, are leaning towards Oklahoma. Now, though, it's a little bit more evened out. I don't know, Doug Upson, it's going to be an interesting game. We will see how it turns out. Thanks so much for your thoughts on it. Thank you, Peter.